Choosing a doctor, what is most important? I think I have made a decision. The doctor I like best made me feel very comfortable. He has many years of experience. Chief of plastic surgery at a hospital, teaches, is well respected in the community. The only thing that concerns me is he didn't have many pictures to show me of his eye work. This somewhat concerns me. Why would this be, and is it enough to not choose him as my surgeon? Thank you for your question. You've submitted a description uh, without a photo, but essentially you're asking about making a decision about choosing the right specialist for your eyelid surgery. You describe in your question that you like the doctor who is a chief of plastic surgery at a hospital, but clearly your concern is because you didn't see many examples of eyelid surgery whether or not this is a, a decision that will likely result in a good outcome. Well, you may not realize this, but you have uh, asked a question that uh, results frequently in uh, interspecialty uh, inter rivalry, particularly between general plastic surgery and the rest of the world. Um, and I can give you some guidance and I, I certainly do have my own personal biases. A little bit of background, I'm a board certified cosmetic surgeon and a fellowship trained oculofacial plastic and reconstructive surgeon. I've been in practice for over 20 years. I perform eyelid surgery every day of the week. I deal with uh, some of the most complicated uh, situations related to cosmetic surgery such as complications from eyelid surgery. Um, I perform complex eyelid surgeries, uh, including ptosis eyelid retraction and reconstructions. Uh, in my background training is in ophthalmology before specializing in plastic surgery and eventually specializing in cosmetic oculofacial plastic and reconstructive surgery. So I think that w so it is important and I think it's a reasonable thing to question is about the before and afters. When people come to my practice and they don't already know about me, again, 20 years in practice, I have been operated on a lot of eyes and, um, and, and certainly a lot of complicated eyes. And you know, there are albums upon albums of before and after pictures in my office to help people kind of look for people who look like themselves in some degree to see the results and to see a style. I think before and afters are very, very important. It, it, this cosmetic surgery, and cosmetic surgery is different from plastic surgery. Cosmetic surgery is a unique specialty where the training is emphasizing cosmetic surgery alone as opposed to general plastic surgery, which is a two-year residency covering everything from head to toe. Now, of course, that's not necessarily relevant when a doctor has reached a level like the doctor you're thinking with their chief of plastic surgery at a hospital. That being said, I have operated for, uh, and performed revision surgery for patients who have gone to the best plastic surgeon in whatever designation you want to say. The local chief of plastic surgery at the hospital, the uh, voted best doctors, et cetera, et cetera. I have done revision surgery on some, for some uh, patients of, who have gone to some of the, quote, best plastic surgeons who were in various levels of their, um, of their well-established careers. And in many, in many situations, I would say there were opportunities to do the procedure slightly differently. Um, to, so that the patient got a desired outcome. Um, a lot of times there were situations where the patient really had um, fairly advanced problems. I think that it, one of the things that, I, that I've certainly um, uh, adhered to in my practice in over 20 years is basically if you do something extremely well and you, do, and you specialize in it, you're going to do more than other people who don't specialize. And you're going to have a certain um, judgment and mastery. 
on top of that, this is an art. And this is an art where it, they, each surgeon has their own signature style. So I think it's reasonable for you to ask this doctor about their style with eyelid surgery. I'm not going to say that every oculoplastic surgeon is better than every general plastic surgeon. That is pointless. Every doctor who has performed residency, fellowship, and specialization has a certain level of competency and expertise. What you want is comfort with the personality, which you already are, and comfort with the style, which you have yet to establish. So I think it's important that you ask the doctor about the before and afters. Someone who's reached this level should have volumes of before and afters if they're doing a lot of eyelid surgery. What I, what I have learned over time is plastic surgeons, particularly general plastic surgeons who focus, tend to end up doing certain things a lot. Some may be specializing in breast reconstruction. Some may specialize in hand surgery. Some may specialize in tummy tucks. And whatever they specialize in, they do a lot of. So even though they may have generalized training, they eventually found an area, a niche, that works for them and that they like, and they became experts in that niche. Some have become experts in eyelid surgery. So it really is a matter of choosing the right doctor based on what your comfort level is about their outcomes. And that really you need before and after pictures. I, I, I can't think of another way that you would be able to confirm or ascertain whether or not you're going to get the desired result. And, I, I don't, and you shouldn't be afraid of offending the doctor. Asking the doctor questions is your right. I feel like this is the point of communication, is that people understand and have full disclosure. If I bring new technology into my practice and I have not used it for a, a significant amount of time, I let the patients know that this is a new technology and we're going to be doing this for one of the first few times we've ever used something. And they have to be informed of that and they have to make an informed decision. Ask your doctor, how much eyelid surgery do they do? How much do they do regularly? Where Show examples of before and afters of someone who looks like yourself. This will give you a sense of comfort. You shouldn't feel like you should go ahead and do it the way the doctor is saying because if they're only doing eyelid surgery as a small percentage of what they do, I, I would doubt that they're going to have the same level of quality ex and ex expertise as someone who does it more frequently. And this applies to any specialty, regardless of the procedure. So ask your doctor about looking into some of those b before and after uh, pictures. Maybe the doctor has them on a, on a hard drive, maybe on a computer, but, and they'll be able to show you. I know that it's hard for me to keep up with, uh, with the volume of surgery that I do with new before and afters. I try to do as many as I can to give some general examples. But very often, I'll just take my laptop out and I'll show my patient, prospective patient, some examples of before and afters that I haven't yet published out on the web or in, in print or anything like that. So meet with the doctor. Just be comfortable. And if you're not quite comfortable, seek additional opinions. Learn about specialties such as oculoplastic surgery so that you can meet with specialists about this option as well and see if you're comfortable. So I hope that was helpful. I wish you the best of luck and thank you for your question.